The sea is everything. It covers seven-tenths of the terrestrial globe. Its breath is pure and healthy. It is an immense desert where man is never lonely, for he feels life stirring on all sides. The sea is only the embodiment of a supernatural and wonderful existence. It is nothing but love and emotion. It is the living infinite. The living infinite. For fucking powerful, right? That last That sounds boom. cool as fuck. The living infinite. I want to be the living infinite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me, yeah. Who, who doesn't? That, ladies and gentlemen, was uh, Jules Verne from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. They've only, they, they've never made, remade that movie, huh? Mm-mm. It's still that old one way back in, okay. As far as I'm aware, yeah. But yeah. I, I felt like they remade it at some point, but, but yeah. I actually like that movie. See? A lot. Yeah, fucking solid quote for, for what we're talking about today, too. That's why I said I looked it up. First quote was like, boom. We're done. <laughs> boom. boom. Bada we're bing. Done. Bada bing. Bada bitch. We're done. Too easy. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> That's uh, it. That's the one. All right. Let's fucking do this shit. Fucking yeah. Hell yeah. I am going to be lecturing everyone. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. As we all know, the ocean is the history of the ocean. Everything that entails the ocean is way too vast of a subject for me to cover in even just the two yeah. episodes that we're going to have. But I'm just here to give you all the general rundown on things you may or may not remember from school. If you took our sciences. And if you didn't like. What fucking school did you go to? <laughs> yeah. Because that's like, they make you. It's pretty important when you're living on the fucking planet. <laughs> yeah, the planet you're on. And like, they make you take that shit. Like freshman year, they're like, sit sit down. <laughs> Unless you're smart enough and then you get put immediately into uh, biology. That's true. But I liked her science. She was cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe because of the teacher too, though. <clears throat> Definitely. He's a character. R.I.P. Yeah. But anyways... We'll roll right into it. I'm Michael Lee. And I'm Matt. And this is Big Up and Nerds, baby. Woo! Big F and Nerds. Did you just whack off of my... <laughs> no. You missed it the whole time I was yeah. under here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was fucking staring you dead in the face. I time. was looking up something because <laughs> something didn't read right on my shit, and I was like, "What is going on here?" I stood up and <laughs> fucking hell! Welcome, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, one and all. Apparently, my shit got deleted. Welcome but to the fuck dungeon. That's nice. That's that's great. What got deleted? Um, part of my conversation. Oh, shit. Part of my notes. Show's over, everybody. See you no. next week. Oh, wait. I got to go back, though, because my fact is on there. <laughs> hey, I was going to say, it's, it's... It, is, it is fact. No, no, no. I'm can already I, reaching for it. No, no, I... no, no, no. No, no, but no, But I don't no. want it. I said, no. yeah. Fuck. <sighs> what is it called? Fact smack? Fact smack. <laughs> fact smack. Fact smack. Here we are with a fun little ocean fact. The ocean contains more artifacts and human history than all the world's museums combined. Countless shipwrecks, lost cities, and ancient artifacts lie beneath the waves, preserving a wealth of human history and cultural heritage. From ancient shipwrecks filled with treasure to submerged cities like Atlantis, the ocean holds secrets waiting to be discovered by archaeologists and explorers. Each underwater archaeological site offers a window into the past, providing insights into ancient civilizations, trade routes, and maritime history. I believe that, totally. You should. There's you know how old of, the ocean is? There's a lot of shit down there. <laughs> the ocean's pretty old. Yeah. It's well, been hey. here the longest. Yeah. Oh. Besides the crust, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was here first. Had to have been. All the core, but uh, but uh, whatever. But, uh, <laughs> but then the sun, uh, but then the sun, but but then the Big Bang, but then the. Uh, but, I mean, but then. But then what came for? What came before that? Oh, oh, oh. oh God. Jesus! Oh God! Just start peeling my face out. Just oh my God! <laughs> you can do the fucking. Oh, was that Poltergeist? Was oh. that from the movie Poltergeist? Yeah. Am I tripping? When he starts peeling the face off, he's all. 
Oh, 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 and that just like, sounds familiar. I think it's the poltergeist, but don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely too sure right now. You might be right. I don't remember exactly it, but I, yeah, there's something like that in poltergeist. I think. Yeah, that's why I want. That's why I want to see more. Um, <clears throat> coming back to to the ocean, being a treasure trove of human history. Mm-hmm. That's why I want us to be able to somehow learn how to explore the ocean more <laughs> because they always talk about, Oh, it's only like been 5% explored or now right. it's 20% explored or some shit like that. And I'm like, explore more. I want to know more. There's not enough knowledge about it, even though we have a vast amount of fucking knowledge about it. Right. And yet we don't. And it's at still- the same time, it's fucking weird. Yeah, it's still crazy to think that we know more about space than what's, you know, the ocean. Yeah, I don't believe that. That's, yeah, <laughs> Even that's... though the whole uh, idea of a microorganism universe, right? So you could go as far down, like microscopic universe. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, you could just keep getting smaller and smaller and there's just new new smaller things that you're just like what the fuck is that yeah i have to use a thousand times fucking scope to fucking see the goddamn thing oh you you turn into a 12 year old <laughs> yeah oh got it <laughs> i was like why are you looking at me fucking you did crazy? that motion and i just went <laughs> there's like i gotta use hell a microscope <laughs> oh my god <laughs> matt how old are you or how how, how old are you about to turn this many. This, this many <laughs> times three. This, fuck! <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> fuck! Uh, that was a good one. So, yeah, here to pretty much teach you about the ocean. The ocean. At damn, least, damn nature, you crazy. At least as much as I can uh, muster. Because, <clears throat> again, it's a lot of information. Too much for me to cover alone. Especially because I'm not a fucking expert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll figure we start off with like the history of the ocean. Let's and the history of the ocean is vast and complex, spanning over billions of years of geological and biological evolution. The Earth's oceans most likely formed probably around 4.4 billion years ago, shortly after the planet's formation. Uh, Early oceans were composed of water vapor released from volcanic activity Mm. and condensed into liquid form as the earth cooled. I was wondering, I was like, where did water come from? Mm. Yeah, it was the heat. So the whole idea of the atmosphere of the planet traps that heat and starts creating that condensation almost like in a shower. Yeah. You know how when you shower for a really long time and it's a high, a high enough temperature that your ceiling will start getting you get the little drops and it'll drip. Yeah, it's kind of like the same concept, which is technically like how rain works. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, plus, plus, I guess it makes sense with all the you know what they say volcanic activity. Considering when our planet was in its early phases, it was a uh, extremely volcanic, you know, oh, yeah. volcan- vol- volcanically active, whatever you want to say. Practically look like a. Uh, Look How like, Venus is now, I guess. Yeah, look like look like goddamn Muspelheim. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just a fucking fresh red hell. Just so um, the Archean Eon is what it's called. It's a I think it's a certain era. Oh, okay. Or Archean <laughs> era. It may have been a typo. <laughs> I did type <laughs> this all out. So <laughs> roughly four to. 2.5 billion years ago, the Earth's surface was dominated by volcanic activity and mm-hmm. primitive life forms, such as bacteria and archaea, be, uh, began to emerge in the oceans. Then we move on to the Pro- Proterozoic Era, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. about t- 2.5 billion to 541 million years ago. Oxygen levels in the atmosphere and oceans increased due to photosynthesis, bacteria, and algae. 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 People say it all kinds of ways. A-L-G-A-E? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know where algae came from. I've always said algae. I've always said algae too, but then I started hearing some science people saying algae. I'm like, huh? Are you just trying to be cool? Are you trying to make a thing? Are you, Are you making a thing? Yeah, you're making a thing. You're making a thing. You're being different. Yeah. Stop being different. Stop being different. I see you being different. Stop being different. <laughs> <laughs> Slum it up with the rest of us. Yeah. 
the first multicellular organisms, including primitive animals, uh, also appeared in the oceans. Then we move on to the pa uh, Paleozoic era. From 541 to 252 million years ago, saw significant diversification and expansion of marine life, including the rise of various marine invertebrates, fish, and early land plants. Coral reefs and other marine ecosystems flourished during this time. So that means those things probably were fucking huge. Yeah, to say the least. Way <laughs> yeah. huge. Uh, they always talk about how back then with the amount of oxygen levels the planet had, that everything ha was able to be big. And I'm like, right. I want to see how big how they big. truly were. And that's why they died off eventually because <laughs> it was not sustainable in the long run. Yeah. Eating, you know, whatever, consuming that much. Yeah. It's not sustainable. We're better for the planet than the dinosaurs. Because we, we're just will guys. <laughs> we're just will guys. <laughs> we're a virus. Next thing you know, they'll be making oil out of our fucking bones and shit. It's a circle. Life is like a circle. Like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> then after that goes into the Mesozoic era. Ah. Very familiar with this era. Dinos. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it was 252 to 66 million years ago and often referred to as the age of reptiles. Mm -hmm. This era saw the dominance of dinosaurs on land and the evolution of marine reptiles like the uh, ichthyosaurus, Ick. which, <laughs> which was the, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to describe it. It's the dinosaur that's almost a mixture of a dolphin and a shark. Ooh. Has like a long nose, mm -hmm. but swims like a shark. Has like uh, four little fins, oh, shit. support fins. You remember that seeing that in a book anywhere? Like um, Theosaurus. I th I think so. Like I'm getting a picture of like a like a really long narrow snout. Yeah. <clears throat> so they got that one. Uh, you also have the Plesiosaurus, which was the Loch Ness monster looking one. Oh. Yeah. Still one of those today. Yeah, <laughs> depending on who you ask. <laughs> and then the Mosasaurus, which if everyone's seen Jurassic World, it's that thing. Which one? The Mosasaurus, the one in the water, the mm -hmm. one from the one that Jurassic uh, World, like <laughs> yeah, which breached the water hella big and ate the shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. that fucker was big. So <laughs> that's what the ocean contained during this time. Fuck, fuck, bro. <laughs> yeah. Were were megalodons at that time, or they were later? Uh, they should be around that time in the Paleozoic era. Nice. Megalodons are supposed to have like been the oldest mm. form of like life, Damn. one of the oldest forms of life on this planet. Gigantic fuck off shark. Just... Seriously, <clears throat> endless supply of food inside that inside the waters. He's got no one to compete with too. So like, <clears throat> fuck it. For real. Damn. And then coral reefs continued to thrive, and modern and modern fish and marine mammals began to evolve. And then we move on to the final era, the Cenozoic era. This era is the one that we currently are in. So from 66 million years ago to now, Damn. this era began with the, the extinction of the dinosaurs and the rise of mammals. Marine mammals such as whales, dolphins, and seals evolved from terrestrial ancestors and became adapted to life in the ocean. <laughs> And then coral reefs and other marine ecosystems continued to evolve and diversify. It's kind of funny. Like, they were just sitting sitting on the land one day and went, <clears throat> you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> just went out in the water. I do think it was because, so what happened was after the extinction, <clears throat> right, and the land finally settled from mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. ash and debris and storms and whatever have you that came after the big asteroid. Yeah. Food was scarce on land, so they had to go to the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then they ended up staying. They just fucking stayed. They are just like, you know what? We could... I fucks with this. Fucks into that. We could do this. Um, my, my, my great, 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 great... <laughs> <laughs> grandkid is going to be a fucking orca. <laughs> and he's going to kick ass. And he's going to fuck shit up. But then they like... Imagine they're in the water and they're like, damn. I wonder how deep this is. Oh, God. Yeah, they right? just looked down. Holy shit. So they're like, let me just take a see the Marianas Trench. And they're like, no, oh, huh. never mind. Oh, that's, that's for my great, 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 great. great. He's going to go fucking around <laughs> down right. there, not me. <laughs> right. Evolution. Yeah, not my problem. 
Throughout Earth's history, the oceans have played a crucial role in shaping the planet's climate, geology, and biodiversity. The study of ocean history, known as paleo-oceanography, uh, or, yeah, ocean history, yeah, provides valuable insights with past environmental conditions, evolutionary patterns, and the interplay between life and the ocean environment. So that's a history lesson. Here you go, Matt. That's my favorite. <laughs> About the ocean. That's my favorite part. For Fuck now. It. It's the first part. It's the only part I know now. <laughs> what I would what I would give for us to figure out a way to somehow watch time. Mm. Like evolve. And like thoroughly, like not even not like a video, you know, made by a special graphics. No, no, like somehow we were able to rewind time and watch and then fast forward at time speed, whatever, and you watch the evolution of the planet actually like yeah. a realistic version of it. That'd be sick. What if, what if like when you die, God or whoever is just like, you want to see how this shit happen? Yeah. Like you could watch a whole ass movie about the history He's of like, the planet. You got time. And it's like, it's like, yeah, it's going to take you like billions of years, but I'm cool. You got time. Yes. Fuck yeah. Just get like a nice lazy, lazy boy out in space or something. Just You would never get bored watching that. You would have your drama. You'd have your romance. You got your action. You got your definitely a lot of action. A lot of action. On multiple fronts. What about, wait, what? Romance? <clears throat> I just I just locked into that you said romance what? earlier. <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of romance? Um, like, I don't know, like Cleopatra sex. <laughs> Her uh, OF. Oh. No, <laughs> oh. Oh, that. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, I'm in. I thought we were talking like two whales, like fucking... <laughs> <laughs> bumping up against each other but cleopatra yeah no i'm in no, Take my money. Talking I'm, in. About history. <laughs> I'm in history in general all right so after finishing the history of it i figure we go into its ecosystems indeed the, the different zones in which uh the ocean is broken up into or how we identify each zone for different types of creatures and whatnot the gang territories yeah yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our ocean is broke down into different zones, starting from the surface of the ocean all the way down to the shadowy depths of the Marianas Trench, which is currently the deepest point in our ocean. Which, you know, call me weird. I still want to like go to it and just like look, Man. just look down from the safety of a boat or like a shark cage. But I do want to like, <laughs> right. <sighs> I mean, like, that'd be wild, but, like, I'd look down and be like, all right, bring us up. That's enough. Let's go. Right. Let's up. Where's the nearest island? Uppies. Uppies. Let's go. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. No more, please. And then the shark cage you're in just. <laughs> you wouldn't make it to the bottom. No, the pressure would probably kill you before that even happens. Would you explode or implode? Implode. Uh, implode at pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a mass amount of pressure down there. So, yeah, quite. <laughs> so, the first zone we are looking at is the uh, epi. Pa, pa, fuck, I figured this out how to say this earlier, and now I just fucking brain farted. Brain sharded, more likely. Yeah. Epipelagic? What the fuck? <laughs> So where is it? First first paragraph. Oh, right here? No, first paragraph. First paragraph. First <laughs> paragraph. Up here. <laughs> oh. Epipelagic? 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 Ep yeah. yeah. The, AKA the sunlight zone. <laughs> Epipelagic <laughs> zone. <laughs> AKA the sunlight zone. Ep ep epileptic? Epilesia? <laughs> Appalachia? <laughs> Hip hop anonymous? <laughs> country, Appalachia? Country roads? So Take me home? What? This is about the surface to 200 meters down. Hip hop anonymous. <laughs> it, is most, it is mostly well lit and the warmest part of the ocean. The vast amount of sunlight helps support photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. The life forms that tend to live in this area are pretty much most of the marine life. Fishies. Yeah. A lot of little fishes, big fishes, and whatnot. Uh, including phytoplankton, zooplankton, fish, sea turtles, dolphins, and surface-dwelling marine organisms. But that's not all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but moving on. Below that zone, 
we have the mesopelagic zone or the twilight zone. Oh, do, 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 do. right. <laughs> That's a, when the I, twilight zone. When I read that, I go, I go do, 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 do. every time. Going down to about a thousand meters, this area is dimly lit and colder than the sunlight zone. Life here mostly <laughs> consists of bioluminescent <laughs> organisms, mesoplagic fish, squids, and jellyfish adapted to low light conditions. Things that are soft, don't have Some, many bones. Yeah, not too, uh, not too uh, delicate. Can take that pressure. Not many bones for them to break. No, <laughs> floating trash bags, sinking trash bags. Don't talk about jellyfish like that. Hey, man. <laughs> I just calls it like I sees it. If they don't want to look, be called a trash bag, they shouldn't fucking look like one. It is true. Although, when I went to the aquarium recently, um, it, is, it is cool just, like, sitting there and you're just watching them and they're just... Jellyfish? Yeah. They're... Dude, it's so weird. And you, like, look inside because they're fucking transparent. Mm -hmm. You're just seeing it and you're like, how the fuck do you exist? Like what the, f what kind of shit was 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 our creator on when he made that shit? <laughs> just watch this shit, nah, bro. He's on acid. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> fucking just. Look. He's like, bro, check it out. <laughs> They're gonna be fucking huge. <laughs> 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 They're not gonna make any sound, but when you see them, that's the sound you're gonna think of. You don't know what sound they make. <laughs> they could make that sound. Yeah, he's, you like, don't know. he's like, but when you see them. That's what you're going to think. Ooh. Ooh. Just, ooh. <laughs> Just the DV bass. <laughs> uh, and then further down, we're going to about 4,000 meters down now. Yeah, damn. We reach the bathopelagic zone or the midnight zone. That's where all the rubber duckies are at. The bath zone. <laughs> yeah. Yep, told you. Down here, <laughs> it's completely dark. Ugh. Sunlight does not reach this zone at all. And because of this, it can get very cold down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Life down here is harsh. Deep sea fish, gelatinous organisms, and bioluminescent creatures, and some cephalopods are the only creatures occupying this space. Down, I can't imagine being down there, being that dark. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't see anything. No, not, nothing. Can't see nothing. You, yeah, you could be like this, knowing your hand's there and not being able to see not it. Not see it. Probably feel it. But like, where's my hand? You're like doing this shit. You can feel the the waves yeah. or the ocean move with the hand, but you're just like, where's my hand? Ah! Where's my fucking hand? That must be a trip. Yeah, I don't ever want to find that out. I'm good. Like, and there's creatures that live down there though, bioluminescent. <laughs> yeah, and these things like that fucking blobfish you see that are just like this. Point. Yeah, that ugly looking one. Looks like, like the nose. big fucking squirrel. Yeah. nose, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then going down to six thousand meters down, damn. we hit the abyss pelagic zone. They just straight up said that's an abyss. Don't even worry about what's literally, down there. <laughs> literally, the AKA is abyssal zone. Yeah. Fuck. So here it is pitch black, zero zilch, no light whatsoever of any kind. That's crazy. Ugh. And then with near freezing temperatures and extreme pressure, mm -hmm. creatures would have a hard time down here uh, if they are not suited for it. Deep sea creatures like the anglerfish, giant squid, and other specialized organisms adapted to these types of conditions. Giant squid. Crazy to think those fuckers are real. 60 feet long, eyeball the size of a basketball. <sighs> Fucking the original Kraken. Just, hey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the, that's what happened. Totally. Original Kraken, for sure. Oh, dude. They fucking, some, somebody saw maybe a dead one. Floated all the way up or, you know, something and that, they just went. Or at night. At night, like during the, while they're sailing out. Those, the giant squids will go up to the surface to, to feed. Yeah, damn. So they saw like some big ass tentacles and went, holy fucking shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> Probably Keep going. The squid was like, oh, look at lunch. <laughs> Bring the ship down. Fuck. And then. Oh my God, it gets deeper. We got one last zone. The Hadopelagic zone. The what? Hadopelagic oh. zone. 
H A D A L. Hadal. Hadal. Hadal pelagic. Which is anything below 6,000 meters, including any and all ocean trenches. Here, we are at the deepest parts of our ocean. The pressure down here is so immense that the buoyancy of water no longer has an effect on you. And you would be fighting gravity. Fucking crazy. I mean, dude. <laughs> Very few creatures can survive down here, including extrema extremophiles near hydrothermal vents and trenches. Every zone presents unique challenges and opportunities for marine life, and understanding these zones is crucial for studying ocean ecosystems. The fuck, man? You have any questions? <laughs> Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Fucking. So there's like, I mean, I guess we don't really know if there's anything down in that fucking heddle pelagic zone or whatever, right? I don't think we've... We can't really get anything down there to look. I don't think we've been able to create a... Well, that's not true. Unless there's other hydrothermal um, vents mm -hmm. that are higher than that eleva Or not elevation. Depth? Depth. Okay. Uh, I had to think that are higher word. than that depth. Then I may be wrong, but there's videos of hydrothermal uh vents vents yeah. and the black smoke that comes out of them that mm -hmm. feeds into the ocean and stuff like that so we may have like robots down mm -hmm. there that's the only thing that can be used apparently everything else that we try to make just gets crushed yeah that and there's there's i mean <clears throat> is there shit living down there in the haddle pelagia yeah probably very just little. like very very minute small organisms and the you know megalodon mm, and him yeah and those fucking weird things from aquaman in the trench oh yeah yeah those yeah, goddamn yeah. those things are scary the, the, yeah <laughs> murlocs or whatever the fuck they, they look like you know? <laughs> yeah no uh i also want us to study more of the ocean just because i would i do want to know mm -hmm. is it True, like they always claim that. Oh no, it's not possible, Megala. But are we sure? Yeah. It's like it may have gone extinct, or maybe like a few have survived, and they just because there's been, you know, missing boats out of nowhere. They're sure. like we just fucking vanished off the um, off the radar. I don't know what happened. Yeah, maybe that's what the fucking what's going on in the Bermuda Triangle. You know, over there, just there's a megalodon chilling out. Just over there. chilling. Fuck. <laughs> Just waiting, looking up. Ah, there he is. You fucking go get him. <laughs> They're all flying low enough, and then... Bro, can you imagine? Can you imagine that shit? Flying in, like, maybe, like, a little little squadron. <clears throat> and just watching, like, the lead ship, lead plane. Just... You know fucking what sucks? turn the plane around. <laughs> you know what sucks is that that would happen, and people would call you crazy. Yep. No one's going to believe you. Nope. Picture it didn't happen, and even then they go, nah, nah, Photoshop, fake, fuck you. That is true. <laughs> no I'm one of those people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we all are. But to yeah. an extent, I mean, especially with how good I've seen AI being lately, oh, yeah. I'm just like, it's harder to believe fucking anything these days because anything can be faked. That's the unfortunate part about it. Mm. I believe home videos more than anything else. <laughs> I feel like you can't Photoshop home videos well enough. It'll look too fake. Right. Right, yeah. Like the ed the editing would look too, too real to where yeah. now it's not even matching with the, the old video. You can always tell. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Fucking dude, crazy. Six thousand meters down. Think about how much weight that is. We all know how heavy a gallon, or five. Say a five gallon like jug. Of five water. gallon jug is about forty four pounds. It's pretty fucking heavy. Mm-hmm. And think of the whole, being, say you're at the bottom of the trench. That's the whole ocean on top of you. That's, you gone. That's so much weight. It's that, it's fucking crazy. And there's still some creatures that are like, that, are, that have just, fucking got this. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Just little blobfish just <laughs> sliming those, his those way. Those fish must be fucking tough. You gotta be. Going fishing for those motherfuckers must suck because they're, you're just oh fuck 
You're like, oh, it's a big one. Pull it in, pull it in, pull out this like little fucking angler fish. Little like, black, ugly, fucking just pitch like, black fish. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. Put her out. Literally the size like this. And you're just like, how the fuck did this little thing put up such a fight? Just put him back in there. Fucking weirdo. But all the other fish see him coming back. You know, they saw him getting dragged up. And they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so, with all those different zones, we obviously have the different uh, marine habitats mm -hmm. along with them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, throughout each zone, uh, there, are, there are these marine habitats that more or less are in the first two zones. Right. The mostly habit, habit, habitable, 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 habitated, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Occupied. There you go. <laughs> to make it easier for our mouths. <laughs> the most occupado zones. <laughs> uh, these habitats encompass a diverse range of ecosystems, each with its own unique characteristics and species. Uh, oh, and species adaptations. Some key habitats are coral reefs, mm -hmm. kelp forests, mm -hmm. estuaries. What the fuck's an estuary? And the deep sea. Good question. You'll learn it a little. <laughs> so I was like, I've definitely heard an estuary. I don't think I ever know what it was. It's 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 a unique part of the whole cycle of the mm -hmm. ocean. Okay. Um, we'll see. We'll get there. Yeah. When I read about it, I was like, oh, that's what it is. So coral reefs. We'll start off first. Coral reefs are usually found in sunnier, more tropical areas with shallower waters it construct it is constructed by coral polyps which secrete calcium carbon uh calcium carbonate skeletons hmm. crazy yeah. to think that those are actually like alive yeah 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 a little a little weird to think about when when you get down to it you're just looking at like a sea plant rock and you're like that thing's alive crazy but I mean, you look at everything pretty much now, and you could be like, "That's alive." Mm -hmm. It's alive. If you find it in nature, it could be alive, other than the rocks. But then again, who knows? Maybe the rocks are alive. We don't know. <laughs> but they're not telling. <laughs> <clears throat> they're like, you know, guys, should we cause an earthquake today? Mm -hmm. Hey, Johnny, rub up on Bobby over there. <laughs> rub up on Bobby. He's like, okay. <laughs> Johnny, knock it off. I'm going to fucking come. <laughs> Volcano. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Johnny, knock it off. I'm going to fucking come. <laughs> Dude. Who's going to come? <laughs> Me. <laughs> All of society is dead. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Because well, so, some rocks wanted to get their fuck on. Right. <laughs> Never mind. Rocks aren't real. <laughs> rocks aren't alive. They're they're just there. They're just there. But everybody wants to get their fuck on. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it is definitely an environment rich in biodiversity and vibrant colors. This ecosystem supports a vast array of marine life, including fish, invertebrates. Uh, which include the coral mm -hmm. and the sea anemones. Uh, anemone. Dude, when I see it written out, it's so easy to say. Anemone. 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 <laughs> uh, sharks, <laughs> sea turtles, and other marine an uh, mammals. It is extremely important as it provides an essential habitat, protects coastlines from erosion, and supports fisheries and tourism. <laughs> Excuse me. Just shut up. I'm lecturing. Do you want, you want to be sent to the principal's office? No. All right, then. No, I don't right, want knock that. that shit off. Okay. Give me your phone. <laughs> Give me your fucking. <laughs> Just start slapping this shit. Wait, where's my ruler? Oh, no. <laughs> Wrapping my knuckles. <laughs> whack, whack. Uh, the next habitat that we have are kelp forests. So kelp forests are typically found in cool and nutrient rich coastal waters. The dense underwater forests dominated by large brown algae called kelp. This kelp provides structure and habitat for a variety of marine organisms. The diverse community of different species includes fish, invertebrates, which also have sea urchins and crabs, mm -hmm. uh, sea otters and seabirds, to name a few. This habitat is an important nursery habitat 
contributes to coastal biodiversity and plays a role in carbon uh, sequestration. Nailed it. Sequestration. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what the fuck is carbon sequestration? Yeah. That one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is? What is? So from what I was reading, it was basically just a way for the carbon in the air or whatever to be re-delivered to the soil. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I was like, interesting, because it, it showed in the diagram, it showed the carbon dioxide being pulled into the plants, because we do know that plants feed off of carbon dioxide, and then they release oxygen. Right. Um, but they also feed, and it goes back into the earth to create more carbon enzymes and more rock. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Life is like a circle for, for real, for real. <laughs> it's like not a joke. It is like a circle. <clears throat> yeah. That's why I <laughs> You're telling me that it was uniquely designed like that? How the fuck? Oh my god. Who did this? Who did this? Uh, and then moving on to the one that you had a big question about. Mm. Estuaries. Yeah. So estuaries, which are found in the interface between rivers and oceans, mm. where fresh water meets salt water. Okay. Those are called estuaries. It can be characterized by its variable salinity. Which is just the levels and salt, yeah. the, the dilution the sal of it. Saline level. Yeah. Uh, influenced by tidal fluctuations <laughs> and freshwater inputs. So usually consisting of uh, usually consisting of mudflats, salt marshes, and mangrove forests. That's where you can tell there's a a uh, estuary, estuary ah. around. So okay. we've we've got estuaries over here with the salt. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. <clears throat> Estuaries support a diverse ensemble of of fish, shellfish, birds, and invertebrates adapted to fluctuating environmental conditions. These habitats serve as important nurseries for many marine species, filter pollutants, and provide valuable ecosystem services. Damn. And they also bring mosquitoes. So fuck estuaries. Oh, yeah, they can get fucked. <laughs> get rid of them. We don't need them. Seriously, though. Seriously, though, like, mosquitoes don't serve any good purpose, do they? Not to my knowledge. Me neither. I don't... Yeah, because they <laughs> feed for themselves. They carry disease. They carry disease. And literally fucking inject it into you. Just, here you go. Here's West Nile. <laughs> into your bloodstream. <laughs> literally just stab. <laughs> That's for you, dickhead. Oh, Flies no. off. <laughs> I will say... I did learn that if you prematurely stop the mosquito from feeding, that's when it spits back. But when you allow it to finish its feeding, it will pull out as it's sucking so it doesn't inject hmm. crap into you. It doesn't inject that saliva that makes you itch. That toxin. Yeah. It's fucking. Yeah, I learned that. I was like, "This is a shitty deal. I don't like this deal." Yeah, that's that's only that's a that's a win lose. Yeah, we just give him our blood, or else we itch. Who are they working for? Yeah, who who's that? You? Who's the who's the mosquitoes working for? No, grab, grab real talk. Answer me right now. Who are the mosquitoes working for? Huh? Just grab one. Tell me where your fucking blood is. <laughs> it's like <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> Bring me another mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mosquitoes fucking suck. Just like wasps. Fuck them. Yeah, wasps don't serve really a purpose. No purpose. Anyway. They're just, uh, they're an invasive species. <laughs> There's a video of a dude who was talking about, like, he he had bee, ant, wasp, and some other creature, fly, mm -hmm. uh, just as a name tag on his chest. Okay. And they're going around like, oh... Oh, ants, I heard of you guys. Yeah, you guys, like, clean up all the... Yeah, he's like, yeah, we clean up, like, the dead people and decompose them, break them back down, and feed them to our... And then we just we just take everything. We, we eat on everything. We get rid of it all. And then the fly is like, oh, yeah, we're kind of like ants, but we do it with, like, literal, like, doo-doo water. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody else wants it, so... Because like, no one else wants it, and we'll, we're willing to fucking take that in. We're like the, we're like the trash man of the, of the mm -hmm. bug world. Right. 
And then he goes to the honeybees. He's like, I like spread pollen everywhere and like help help out the plants that grow and help the earth survive and all this stuff. He's like, oh yeah. And then he goes to the wasp. He's like, what do you do? He's like, oh, uh, I like to hurt people. (laughs) (laughs) I like to kill bees. He's like, I like to hurt people. He's like, oh, like when they when they're like attacking you or like. No, I just like to hurt them. Nah, fuck them. <laughs> I like just, to hurt people. <laughs> no, I just like to hurt people. I like to sting them like when they scream. Matter of fact, I see one over there. He's like, oh, what's going on? He's like, hey, yo, come here, B. Just like beating his <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wasps, dude. Yeah. Wasps are motherfuckers. Fuck them. And lastly, we got the great deep blue. Oh, boy. The deep sea. Now we're going to fast forward. We're going to get rid of like the main deep blue where we know that there's sharks, whales, uh, seals, other types of bigger organisms swimming in that area. And we're going to go deep. So, uh, this is found in the ocean's abyssal depths below the continental shelf. This area has extreme pressure, darkness, and cold temperatures as stated before. Um, this includes abyssal plains, Hmm. which apparently there's just, flat flat oh, no. of just sand water sand, just whatever barren wasteland yeah I'll say, under the water i say it's so far deep I'm so dead m- <laughs> <laughs> you know it took entirely too long for that joke to pop up in this it somehow it, it happened though <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh yeah i'll say it's so deep there's so much weight and pressure that there's no rocks it's just sand yeah the, probably the pressure is actually breaking right. down the rocks enough to if you turn into sand, you'd be pretty hard pressed to find a rock down there. Just... Like those rocks down in the deep blue sea. <laughs> ah, I'm on fire. <laughs> You're on something, all right. <laughs> get me out of here. Come on, that was a good one. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uh, trenches and then the hydrothermal vents. Yeah. Down here, you'll find the deep sea organisms that have adapted to the extreme conditions and exhibit unique morphological morphological and physiological characteristics. Uh, examples include deep sea fish, giant squid, deep sea corals, and chemosynthetic bacteria. What the fuck is that? No idea. All right. <laughs> I've literally, that's the first time I've ever heard those words together. Chemosynthetic bacteria. I mean, clearly they're chemo, just, they're micro. Chemo. Yeah. Synthetic. Synthetic sounds fake though. Yeah. Synthetic implies made like, you know, Made by somebody, by maybe something. radioactive bacteria. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Chemo, chemo synthetic. Maybe that sounds like what? Because chemo is what you radiation, chemotherapy. Yeah, they use radiation in that. Right. Chemo synthetic to be made, made of, so radioactive, and down there it would make sense from the hydro, uh, thermal vents. Mm. I do believe that through there, there's some sort of nuclear. I mean, I guess that would make sense because it's coming from like the fucking core yeah shit, right so yeah that's why that's mm. fucking dude we're smart bro <laughs> some scientist watching this he's like you are so fucking wrong or something. Uh, i hope not i really think i i feel like that makes a lot of sense i hope like, that i just I, broke down the fucking word that i didn't fucking know yeah. personally and that's made all this set you gotta take these pieces and what do they mean together i yeah. hope if some scientist is watching and we are fucking wrong i hope he at least goes like I, good attempt you 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 were on the right track you know you you did you were on the right track you put the right pieces together but no he goes <laughs> but you missed a few and then if you do if you are listening put in the comments tell i want to know tell me i, I want to know this stuff i've been in love with the ocean for as long as i can remember so anything about it learning about it i just fucking eat it up oh Despite harsh conditions, deep sea ecosystems support a surprising diversity of life and play a role in global biochemical, uh, biogeochemical <laughs> cycles. That's a lot of shit. Un- <clears throat> understanding and protecting these diverse marine habitats are essential for conserving ocean biodiversity and maintaining ecosystem health. Each habitat provides unique ecological functions and supports a wide range of species that contribute to overall health and resilience of marine ecosystems. So it's important. Extremely. (laughs) (laughs) 
And on that note. And on that note, thank you once again for... <laughs> Keep going, do it. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Thank you once again for tuning in to Big Effort Nerds. We really do appreciate it. Don't forget to go into the bio of this episode. Follow us on all the socials. And don't forget to like, review, and share the episodes and or podcasts on all social networks. You need to do that. That would be super helpful for us. And that does it for part one for me. That'll do her. Part two's coming. <laughs> part two's coming. Hope y'all took notes because there will be a quiz. You will be graded. And it is going on your final grade. So mm -hmm. I'll make the rules. Sorry. Yeah, this is the only test that matters too. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Homework. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> this is what matters. Nah, um, part two will probably entail uh, sea life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be more focused on marine animals of all kind. Uh, mammals, invertebrates, fucking <clears throat> shellfish, regular fish, <laughs> big fish, small fish, regular shells. Red, I don't know. Red fish, blue fish, green fish, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two, two fish. fish. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but no, it's gonna be heavily focused on specifically animals. That was what I wanted to look up uh, for today. So oh, I'll probably animals. I'll probably have go ahead little, bring yeah I'll have a little something for next week find some uh, find some animals to bring in share with the class yeah uh, yeah there will be no shortage of, of animals or whatever the fuck I literally have a whole book that I probably will bring to the episode next week because it uh, is I mean, yeah. fucking smack dab full of like all types of fucking facts <laughs> about different types of animals over five hundred different animals sheesh bro I was like. I love this book. I got it from the Monterey Bay Aquarium, so long time ago. They definitely know a thing or two. A little bit. Some smart people out there. They are a research facility before an aquarium. Right. So that place is rad. I haven't been there in a few years. It's not too bad. We went when I went uh three weeks ago. Oh, three weeks ago. Recent. Yeah, with uh with old girl. With old girl. Old girl. Old girl. She, old baby girl. She old baby girl. <laughs> um she, she yeah, like it? I mean, we've been doing this whole thing of like going to zoos and, and aquariums. Oh, yeah. And she, yeah, she liked it a lot. She's like, oh, this is way bigger than the one in Seattle. <laughs> like, <laughs> but even then, uh, there's even bigger aquariums oh, elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. And I don't, I, I know I've been to more. I can't think of them. I've Maybe been to the San Francisco one mm. by Pier. 39 oh i might have been to that one but it's been a long time that one's small mm. and then you have monterey bay aquarium mm -hmm. mm, not too sure if oakland has something i don't know but they got a zoo <laughs> they got a zoo their zoo's actually pretty nice we went there too their zoo's cool zoos are cool until about like halfway through and i kind of like remember what a zoo is and i'm kind of like oh yeah see i don't think about that no <clears throat> plus the zoos have gotten way better Hmm. Way better. They're they're animal reserves. They try to they're they're there. Yes, they have an animal in quote unquote captivity, but they're taking care of the animal so that it doesn't fucking die out. Yeah, yeah. Because some animals are actually in there because they're endangered. Yeah, you know, and we have to protect that species if we want to see them thrive in the wild anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And it's not as bad as like a, like what like SeaWorld was like back yeah, in the day. Back, back in the day, yeah, zoos were terrible. Yeah. But nowadays they've gotten so much better with the taking care of the animals stuff. So. Sure. Yeah, I went to the zoo on the Big Island when I was over there last time with my dad. Mm, we went yeah. to the the the, the Pana Eva <clears throat> Zoo. I probably should do that when I go in April. I'll probably go to that one. Saw a white tiger, majestic. Ooh. He was just over there drinking. Just like, didn't give a fuck. I'm a tiger. Who's going to fuck with me? <laughs> drinking. <laughs> yeah, we love going to zoos and aquariums and stuff. Aquariums especially for me because <clears throat> there's something about the ocean. We were we were literally watching anchovies. You know how like anchovies, like oh. they're like small. They little, got these big ass fucking mouths. Erratic like, little fish. Just, <laughs> they're like the chihuahuas. Was, chihuahuas of fish almost. I was in a, watching the tank and just watching them swim and I just... I like get in a tra in a trance. Yeah, I was just watch a fish, <laughs> and I did that with the big the big aquarium where they had like the tuna and stuff. And oh yeah, some of these tuna be like hella fast. I'm like, fuck, it's moving. 
If that thing hit me in the fucking wild, just get bopped. Mortal Kombat X ray. (laughs) Yeah. Ribs. (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) They do that. So, oof. Be ready for that one next week. It's going to be a fun one. Hell yeah. I'm, uh, and I'm sure you'll you know, get a lot of animals because, like you said, no shortage. Oh, yeah. At all. Even if there's a, you know, chances are we might we might pick some of the same ones. We might not. There's so fucking many. Man. If we pick the same ones, I'll be surprised. I call uh, Orca, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I, I, I call Orca. <laughs> or, Orca's my favorite. Fair Wolves enough. of the sea. That's. Yeah, I guess that's true. I hadn't really thought of it like that. That's what... That's what they're nicknamed, Wolves of the Sea. They're pretty predatory. Mm-hmm. Damn. But then they, they travel in packs. But they look so cool. But they'll fuck you up. So do wolves. Mm. And yes, so do wolves. And they'll fuck you up too. <laughs> yeah. Wolves, yeah. Wolves uh, will be like, hey, I don't want, I don't want to fuck with you, but I might. He's like, I don't want to fuck with you, but I'm hungry. But give me an excuse. <laughs> but I'm hungry. Come on. All right, Matt. Alright, close, close <laughs> out the episode. Let's get out of here. Alright, everybody. That's it this week. But there's more to come. Like I said, hope you fucking took note. Bring your number two pencil. Bring your notebook. And bring that ass with you. Hell yeah. Anyways. Later, Taters. <laughs> 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 <laughs>